Hi guys, and welcome back. We are going to talk about day two of power to a power rule, and we're gonna start combining multiple rules together. So we have one, two. So sometimes we will have to combine properties. So the product property, the quotient property, and the power to a power property. So you can do this in multiple ways. So if I saw m to the fifth times m all to the cube, I can say, okay, I'm going to combine like terms on the inside because it's the product property. So remember, this is an invisible one here. So m to the fifth times m to the one, that would be m to the sixth because I'm adding my exponents to the third. m to the sixth to the third, I multiply using the power rule. So six times three is 18. So that simplifies m to the 18th. If we look at this next one, we got a lot going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the inside. So 6 to the 4th times 6 to the 3rd would be 6 to the 7th, all to the 4th divided by 6 squared. Notice whatever I'm not using, I'm bringing right on down. Now I can do my power rule. So 6 to the 7th to the 4th would be 7 to the 4th would be to the 28th because I'm multiplying, divided by 6 squared. So notice I kind of did the stuff in parentheses, then I took care of my power to a power rule, and then I can take care of my quotient rule. So again, when I have the same base and I'm dividing, I can subtract my exponents. So I'm going to have the same base of 6, and 28 minus 2 is 26. So we'd have 6 to the 26th. Okay. Go ahead and try this one. Ignore this weird E thing there. I'm not really sure what that's about. Okay, so again, I'm going to deal with the inside parenthesis here. So I'd have B times B cubed would be B to the 4th all to the fifth divided by two b squared. b to the fourth to the fifth would give me b to the 20th divided by two b squared. Okay, now I'm gonna rewrite this one to make my life a little bit easier. So this is really b to the 20th all over two b squared, okay? Now there's an invisible one in front here, okay? So I can't reduce one half to anything, so I'm just gonna leave it b, but I can reduce my b's. So I'm going to have 1 over 2, and b to the 20th over b squared becomes b to the 18th. Or I could write this as b to the 18th over 2. Those would be equivalent answers. Okay. So when we see a division symbol like this, I would go ahead and write it as a fraction just to help you out a little bit, okay? I think that's it. Have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.